just for a change of scenery. Now we're going to go through delt training. Alright, so we're going to start with a face pull. Alright, so again using our band, we're going to take a nice big step back. This time we're going to be pulling a little bit higher, around shoulder height or head height. Alright, so we want the band set up around the similar height. Nice big stretch forward. We're going to go into a semi squat position, arms up, and then from here we're driving our elbows back. Really trying to squeeze our upper back and our rear delts and rhomboids as much as we can. Nice big reach all the way forward. Let our shoulder blades roll forward just a little bit. And then again, keeping our chest nice and high, head back, driving the elbows back. Okay. We can also do a rear delt fly with a very similar setup, except this time we're going to stand up, arms out in front, and we're going to take them nice and wide all the way out, like a reverse chest fly. Alright, so arms locked in position, I'm just pulling back, letting our upper back do all of the work, or as much of it as possible. So when we're doing these, we're not like pulling with our elbows and we're not swinging it out. Nice and controlled, very deliberate in the way that we move. Alright, next we're going to target our medial and anterior deltoid, age old lateral raise or banded lateral raise. So if you have dumbbells or you have you know, a bag or a handbag or something, jugs of water, you can just hold them by our sides and perform lateral raises. Alright, for now we're just going to use some bands, so we're going to get feet a little bit around shoulder width. Oopsie. From here, we're going to just let our shoulders relax, keeping our arms nice and still, taking them out nice and wide. Again, just focusing on our medial and anterior adultoid. Let them do all the work, not swinging, not cheating. Um, main consideration here is going to be band thickness or the dumbbell weight that you have. We just want to make sure that it's not too heavy or the band's not too thick uh, so that we start to cheat the movement. So if you find you have a thick band, you might need to decrease the amount of tension that we're doing we have so instead of standing on two feet you could stand on one foot that's going to take a little bit of the tension off and then perform your reps like so All right. so training the deltoids again we can use shoulder, shoulder variations or shoulder pressing variations um, a pretty popular one or a common one again we're just going to set up standing on the bands Palms up, just like a shoulder standing shoulder press. If the band's really thick, you might be able to get away with it by sitting down, right? Elbows tucked slightly forwards, hands on our shoulders, and then we're going to press. And from here, we're going to think about driving our elbows in towards our ears and squeezing our delts as we're pressing. All the way down, press again, right? These can be a little bit challenging, so if you can sit, maybe it's a good idea. Uh, if you have no band, you can probably get away with it by using like a bag or something. But we're gonna go to our trusty little uh, bucket here. You can hold it overhead like so, press all the way up, coming back down. Uh, if you have two of the same, you can do you know, uh, bilateral training. Otherwise, unilateral might be the way to go. If you're lucky enough to have dumbbells, dumbbell pressing should be straightforward enough. Uh, you just need to either find somewhere something to hold on to if you're doing single arm or something to sit on so you can just press appropriately like so I'll show you a seated variation now quick <laughs> if you have an age appropriate chair you can thread the band underneath All right feet out in front get into our shoulder pressing position this way we have a little bit of back support uh, and we can just slightly more focus on training our shoulders and again just pressing straight up nice and smooth so the good thing about these exercises is they're going to get more challenging as we're getting to the top and we're getting to full extension of our elbow and shoulder um, that's really it enjoy upright rows while we're here alright we can also do a banded upright row again you could use a kettlebell just hold it in front, pulling it straight up, elbows nice and high. You could use two dumbbells. Again, holding them in your hands, just let the shoulders relax. And from here, we're gonna think about driving the elbows up to the roof, letting our deltoids do most of the work, as well as our upper back. We have bands, we'll use bands for now. 
Again, holding arms out in front, driving the elbows back, nice and high, big squeeze, all the way back down, nice big reach. And again, these are great exercises for the delts, uh, ones that you would typically find being done in the gym anyway. Uh, so, should be no reason not to have jack delts if you're stuck at home. Hee hee hee.